Welcome back to Pamper My Star. Our guest today, he's a YouTuber, singer, and also a TV host. All the way from the UK, let me introduce you, Mark Odie. Hey, what's going on? How are you? Hi, Mark. Thanks cheers. for coming here today. Merry early Christmas. Cheers, cheers to cheers. you. Cheers, cheers. Mm. So, what would you like to know? Um, what you have been up to recently? Uh, recently, I've been really busy. I just actually got back from Korea. I was hosting a thing called the Web TV Asia Awards, which was uh, really good fun. We had like Girl Generation. Uh, we had the Pen Pineapple Guy, um, Pico Daro. You know, I had the Pen Pineapple. Um, and apart from that, I've been doing a show for RTM, uh, two shows for Astro Super Sports, and I've been busy with my YouTube stuff. So yeah, it's been a busy year, and uh, I'm looking forward to ending and having a nice Christmas break. So could you tell us uh, how they all started from your singing band as London Boy, one of the members oh, London, London Boy. Boys. Okay, yeah. so I used to do uh, like West End musicals in London, um, and I got a bit bored because you do the same show for about six months. So you're doing the same singing, the same dancing. Uh, so say I was in West Side Story, um, you're doing the same, the same lines, the same singing, the same dance every day for six months and it gets quite boring. I've never really been a nine to five office guy. I like having the freedom and doing different things. So my agent actually got me this job in Malaysia and it was for a boy band called The London Boys. Um, and it was, it was a very strange experience, but it kind of brought me to Malaysia. I got to see Malaysia for what it was and I kind of fell in love with the country, so yeah. Mm, so what makes you stay other than the country? Uh, the, the food very nice, the weather very hot, I don't like the cold, come to England, trust me, you Malaysians, you say that you know, you want to go to England because it's nice and cold, go there for one day, you will regret it, honestly, the hot here is really nice, I like walking around in, um, it's very rare for me to wear a shirt actually, I like to wear singlets or t-shirts and shorts, um, then I found out the location, so I you know, dressed up for the occasion today, um, but normally I like to uh, just wear less clothes because it's nice and hot in Malaysia. So I like that. I like the people here. I like the culture, different races, different cultures. Um, so yeah, I think Malaysia's pretty cool. Mm. So Christmas is approaching. Are you going back to the UK? Yes, I am going back to the UK. I think, no offence to Christmas in Malaysia, but I think it's a really different Christmas in England and Christmas in Malaysia is... Um, for me, because I'm English, I've got to go back home. Because it's the same with, with you guys in uh, Chinese New Year because it's all about family. You can't have Christmas and not be with your family and your loved ones because it's, uh, it's all about family, it's about giving presents um, and it's the one time of year where all the family comes together. So if your family, you know like in, in Malaysia, your family, might hometown might be in Saramang or uh, Penang, you all drive back. It's the same for Christmas, you know, in England. All our family can come together and we play games, we have some drinks, open presents, so uh, yeah, I love Christmas. Mm, have you ever celebrated Christmas in Malaysia? Yes. How do you so find it? I've been here four years, so two out of the four Christmases I celebrated here. And me and my sister, we were very, very um, like worried because we were like, oh, what can we do? Where do we, where do we get Christmas dinner? Because it's hard to like get turkey here and um, uh, to find Christmas stuff. And my sister also is a vegan. So it's like a bit tough as well because um, I'm not a good cook, but she's a good cook. So last year, uh, me, my, my girlfriend, my sister and her boyfriend, we all had Christmas together, uh, which was actually really nice. It was nice, but obviously it would have been better in England because you know, my family would be there and I, I don't see my family not much, so I think that'd be quite good. But we made the most out of what we had here. Yeah. Mm. So what do you miss the most about the UK besides your family members? Um, I miss the English breakfast. It's very nice. Full English breakfast is very chanty, very good. I love that. Um, I also miss my friends. Some of my friends in England, uh, like my childhood friends, I miss them. So when I go back in December, I get to see them, which will be nice. Um, I miss... what else do I miss? Hmm. Uh, I miss watching the football matches as well sometimes. Like my, my football teams, like Chelsea and Charlton Athletic. I miss seeing them live and just watching them on TV because it's different. But apart from that, most of the things I get in England I can get in Malaysia. So um, I do miss England, but I'm happy I'm in Malaysia. Malaysia is a very cool place. Mm. After Christmas 2017 is upon us, what are your hopes and wishes for the new year? Mm, new year. 
So 2017, uh, for me, um, I, it, I come and I go. I don't really have like a plan or if, if you said to me, what's your plan next year? I wouldn't know because I think in this industry that I'm in, things come up very last minute. Uh, so you can't really predict and you can't really plan. Um, it just, you just take it, take it how it comes and how it goes. Um, but I'm really trying to focus on my YouTube because I've, a few of my videos recently have done quite well and I'm really enjoying the content I'm creating. So I think I'm going to really make, try and make a lot more videos for that. Um, also my TV show wishlist, we will be going uh, to a few places overseas, which is going to be really fun. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, so yeah, should be a fun year. I've seen a lot of prank videos in your uh -huh. YouTube channel. Yeah. So will you be ex um, extending your category other than doing prank? Well, I've just recently done one. It's called uh, All My Bahasa Malaysia. So this is where I will be with a guest. Um, kind of like this, you know, two people chilling, but we play a game. And the game is if, if my Malaysian, my, my Bahasa Malaysia is bad, I get punished. So I did it with my sister. We had like pie each other in the face. Uh, we had like, you know, me and my friend, we had to whack each other. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite funny and it's, I think that people, people quite like it, so I'm going to do quite, quite more of them, yeah. So it's called uh, All My Bahasa Malaysia. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Before we end our session, mm -hmm. what would you like to tell our readers? Well, of course, Christmas is coming up, so have a Merry Christmas. Even if you don't celebrate Christmas, enjoy your time off work. Have a nice relaxing, have a nice public holiday. Um, and if you are celebrating Christmas, have a good time with your friends and family. Eat as much turkey as you like, have some drinks, open all your presents. Make sure you're good so Father Christmas can pay you a visit and uh, enjoy 2017. So yeah, cheers to that. Merry Christmas, Mark. Merry Christmas. We wish you all the best in 2017. Thank you.